Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can control generative AI answers in Copilot. Sometimes we need answers by public data and sometimes we need by private data and how you can control both. That is what I am going to demonstrate in this video. So let's start. So as I told in this video, I will have some private data and I will have similar public data. And for that, what I did, I created two documents related to Steve Jobs. So you know that lots of information available on internet related to Steve Jobs. So I also created two documents. Let me show you. So in first document, you can see I didn't add anything. I just had one line. Steve Jobs was an American footballer. And in second document, my friend, I have some more information and that is how we will try to control our answers. So let me go and create a new copilot. So I will create new. It will take few seconds and after that, our copilot will be ready. So you can see it's getting ready, but even though we can test. So what I will do, I will ask here that where did Steve Jobs born? And I will ask. So you can see right now, it has access of public data and based on that, it's giving us a right and correct answer. And how? Let's understand it. My friend, if you will go here, you can't see any topic related to generative AI. But if you will go in system and there, you can see a topic that is conversational boosting. Just open it and you can see here we have a, a step by which we are generating generative AI answers. And if you will click on data source, you can see here we have this, this button on allow the AI to use its own general knowledge. And what is that? That is public data. And that's why we are able to access public information and AI is co-pilot is giving us answers. If I will just turn, turn it off and then save it. And you can see my friend after that, if I will ask anything like where did Steve Jobs born? You can see it's not able to answer. Why? Because right now co-pilot is not able to access public data. Even though if, if we will go here in knowledge base and I will just upload that document I created and that is Steve Jobs 1. And in that document, my friend, I just have one line. So once you will upload, it will take few seconds and you can see status in progress till that it is not ready. You can't use it. So my friend, you can see. It will take few more seconds and after that you can use it. Sometimes it is two to three minutes. So we'll just wait for two to three minutes and then I will again test. So now it is ready. So what I will do, I will just refresh. And again, I will ask where did Steve Jobs born? And you can see still it is not able to answer. Why? Because we uploaded this document, but in this document, we don't have any kind of that information. And also it is not attached at data source. So what we will do again, we will go here in topics and conversational boosting. And that is where you can see, we'll go here and then I will add the document I uploaded, let, let me refresh like on and you can see this document is here. I will select 
and then save it. So now we attached that document as knowledge source. So I will refresh and then I will ask where did Steve Jobs born? And again, you can see we don't have any information related to that. And that's why you can see it's not giving us answer. So again, my friend, I will go and upload second document and document two. And upload. Again, it will take few seconds. So let me go on internet. And I will pick some information. Steve Jobs. And I will pick this line. I will add here and I will change this information new and I will save and then again I will upload this document So now we have that information in our document. So it will take few seconds as I told, as I'm uploading new document and then we will. And as this is not attached to, I again go back to system topic conversational boosting and I will attach this data source as we were uploading and that's why it is refreshed. So I attached and saved it. Now we are ready for testing. So I will again ask same question. Where did Steve Jobs born? And you can see now it is very high chance that we will get that information. Even though it is not correct, because that is how we are controlling that information using private data. If I will ask that, who was Steve Jobs? So you can see, it's also, it will give most probably, like you can see, like was an investor. So now it's taking information from that document, what we uploaded as a second document. You can see here, we have that knowledge and that's why it's taking from there. But if I will ask in which company he was working, so you can see, the information is coming like that is what we have in that particular document and it, it's also referencing that document. If I will go here and what I will do is I will just go here in our documents and I will delete this document. So we will not have all those information related to Steve Jobs and I will make sure that I will have only few information related to Steve Jobs in that document and rest we will try to get from public data. So I will go here, I will open this. So we have very few information in this document and we delete it. So again, I will go back. We have one document in topics, system, conversational boosting, and then I will just add it. And that is okay. So stop on attached and save. So now you can see we attached one document, and in that document, we have very limited information. And if I will refresh this, 
and ask like who was Steve Jobs? So you can see what information is coming that is he was an American footballer. If I will ask about his company in which company he was working. So now no information because we don't have any content related to his company information. So you might be thinking that Sandeep, why it is not accessing internet data and giving us answer because we already turned it off. So what I will do is I will just turn on and save it. And then you can see like if we will ask that where did Steve Jobs born, it will give us the wrong answer because that is what we have in that particular document. But if I will ask about his company in which company he was working so you can see now it will go on internet access those information and that is what it will keep means that if you have both data sources like one data source related to your private data and in that case it will first check the private data if information is there it will give you answer from there and again, if you allowed Copilot to access private data, so whatever answers it's not getting, it will go access private public data and based on that, it will give you answer. So this is how my friend, you can control generative AI answers in Copilot. Hope this will make sense and see you in next video. So my friend, I hope this session was very informative. You learned how you can control generative AI answers in Copilot. If you like my content, please like and subscribe my channel. So I will come up with this kind of videos again and again to boost your knowledge. See you in next video. Till then, bye. This is Sandeep Misra signing out.